Hello everybody! In this video I'm going to tell you about the calculator in Windows 10 operating system. I will make a brief review to tell you about the interesting functions and features, how to install it and what to do if it doesn't start. Hello friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. Of course, you can find calculator in every version of Windows. It's a very useful tool, and if you ever used it, you might have noticed the interesting functions it has. The Windows 10 calculator provides you with a lot more functions than its previous versions. Now you don't need any other apps to convert currencies, units of volume, weight, area, and other things. The calculator will do all that work for you. To open it, click on the Start button and find the Calculator app if you search by letter C. On your desktop, you can simultaneously have several calculators opened in Windows with adjustable size. When you started for the first time, the calculator opens in a normal mode. To choose another one, click on the menu button fashioned like three lines, the hamburger button, and open an additional panel where you can choose the mode you need from the list – standard, scientific, programmer, dead calculation, and converter. Depending on the difficulty of your calculations, choose the corresponding mode. Use standard mode for basic math tasks, scientific for complicated calculations, programmer for working with binary codes, date calculation to work with dates, and converter to convert units of measurement. For example, if you need to work with complicated calculations, use the scientific mode, as the calculator will work sequentially in the standard mode. As you can see, with the same conditions, we get different answers, because in the standard mode the calculator doesn't observe the first rule of math. When you switch between the modes, current calculations will be cleared, but the operating system saves them in history and memory. In such modes as standard, scientific and programmer, you can save numbers into memory, and history keeps all formulas you have used since the app was started. To save a new number into memory, click the MS button. To retrieve it from memory, click MR. To show the list of numbers saved to memory, click on M if you need to adjust the window size to show the full list, for example. To add or subtract a number in the saved in the memory, click on the buttons M plus or M minus accordingly. To clear the memory, click on MC. In the date calculation mode, you can quickly find out how many days there are in a selected period between the two dates. As well as in, as in other programs, you can use key shortcuts in the calculator to make your work easier. For example, by pressing the Add key, you can calculate the square root of the number you have entered. By pressing Ctrl L, you can clear the app's memory. Now let's have a look at let's have a closer look at converter. Here you can quickly convert one currency into another. All you have to do is to enter the amount of the currency you need to convert into another one, for example US dollars into rubles, euros, British pounds, and so on. Below, you can see the relevant exchange rate for the current date and time. You can always click on Update rates if the date differs from the current one. You can also learn how many gallons are in 5 liters. As you can see, it's a bit more than 1.09 gallon. If you increase the volume, you can see how it corresponds with standard baths, pools, etc. You can also work with weight and mass. For example, you can see how many kilos there are in 100 pounds. You can convert temperature, for example, from Fahrenheit to Celsius, and see that 1 degree Celsius is almost 34 degrees Fahrenheit. 
it's easy to convert speed. For example, from kilometers per hour into miles per hour, as you can see, 100 miles per hour is the same as 160 kilometers per hour. And in the same way, you can quickly change the values to feet, centimeters per second, knots, and so on. You can also find out how many megabytes make up one gigabyte, or have a look at all the possible units to measure data. You can also use other converter parts. For example, if you are looking for furniture online, find a good model on the website, but the dimensions are given in feet only, you can easily convert them into centimeters, millimeters, or another unit which you are using. As you can see, there are many other units for converting length, mass and weight, energy, area, power, pressure, angle, and so on. When you work with a computer and you need to convert one unit of measurement into another, you can always do it very quickly by using the calculator in the standard mode. If you didn't find the app on your computer, don't worry, you can install it easily. First of all, try to find it by typing its name in the search field, and if it doesn't work, go to Microsoft Store. You can find it in the Start menu. And type Windows Calculator in the search field. Or choose another one from the list that you like better, and then click on Install. As a result, installation will start immediately, the calculator will appear in the Start menu, and you'll be able to run it from there easily. If you already have the app on your PC, but it can't start, try the following trick. Go to Settings, System, Apps and Features. Select Calculator from the list, click on Advanced Options, and then Reset. Then try starting it again. If you've been using one of the earlier versions of the Windows operating system and got accustomed to the old version of the calculator, it's quite easy to install it. Just follow the link in the description for this video and click on Download Old Calculator. However, don't forget to check the link for viruses with the Virus Total service. You can watch one of our videos to see how to do it properly. You can find the link in the description as usual. As you can see, all is safe so far. And that is all for now. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck.